To create the tear in my skin on my forehead, I just used Ben Nye Nose and Scar Wax, which you can find on eBay or Amazon or on the Ben Nye website. I stuck this to my head using Snazaru Spirit Gum, which you can also find online or in any costume store. Using Vaseline and a cotton bud helps smooth it down without it being sticky and peeling off. Pushing the inside down helps create a tear in the skin as though your skin's tearing off your head for your brain to come out. Now it's time to add your wax to create your brain. Again I'm using the Snazaru Spirit Gum to make my head sticky and act as an adhesive to stick the wax on. Again I'm using Ben Nine Nose and Scar Wax and rolling it out this time. I'm not flattening it because I want it to create the cells of the brain. You can use any reference photo of a brain to create this, but I just went from any scientific previous images I've seen before. Rolling it out nice and thick helps create a realistic looking brain. You don't want it too thin because it just won't be realistic. If you haven't used this wax before, I wouldn't advise putting it close to your hairline because it does hurt to pull off. I'm only doing this because I've done it a few times so I'm used to the pain tolerance and also it helps make well a realistic brain because it wouldn't just tear in the front and it would go into your hairline also. When you're taking the wax off you can easily use a makeup remover for both the wax and the adhesive underneath as it won't come off with just water and soap. When you're happy with your brain, it's time to add some colour. To create my colour, I've got my Crayola and Bruise Veil, which are all oil-based paints, so they won't come off with water and they won't mix with water either. So I'm just using a brush to paint this on. For the pink, I'm using simple Snazaru face paint, which you can get in any cheap cosmetic store or online. I'm using this just on the brain cells and nowhere else. You can add some hints of purple to this also, as I'm sure your brain cells are not just this bright pink. Try not to paint onto your skin, otherwise you'll lose the effect. Now here I'm taking the dark purple from my bruise wheel and I'm going to paint in between each wax area where the brain cells are to add some depth and to make it look as though it's an under layer of the brain. Now here I'm being really careful not to go over the pink, otherwise it'll just lose effect and there'll be no depth there at all. I'm trying to avoid using black because there would be no black. You can also use blues and greens to make these dark areas look deeper also. You want the darkest areas to be in between the skin and the brain areas so that it looks like the skin is tearing away and the brain is underneath so it's casting a shadow over the brain area. Here I added some blue just to create more depth. Again, I wouldn't advise you painting your hair if you've not done this before. Luckily, with my hair being so bright, this colour takes so easy and makes it look like my skin has been torn off in those areas also. I want to look like a big chunk has been taken away from my head, so it needs to dig into my hairline to look as realistic as possible. Here I added some red to blend in with the cells and to also look like a top layer of blood from where the skin has been torn away.
Now here's for everybody's awful fun part coming up next and that's adding blood. Now you can get any kind of fake blood from a cosmetic store or cheap ones online but I'm using some Snazaru I think um, fake blood there and it's stage splash blood and it's the deepest kind of red I have like you don't want a bright red blood because it'll just look watery and non-realistic so the thick one helps for the inside areas of the brain also mixing some black paint with your blood helps create more realistic looking blood this little drip there now you want to go in between the areas you've coloured in with your purple and blue paint you don't want to overdo the blood otherwise you'll lose all the detail of the wax brain you've created and you won't have any depth and it would just look a mess I'm worse than anyone for using a lot of fake blood just because I like things to look gory but for this you don't need to overdo it I'm sure if anyone's brain exploded or was torn off then you'd have blood all over your hair so feel free to put it over your own hair but it is difficult to wash out now here I was looking for my stipple brush and I couldn't find it so instead I tore some holes in a sponge just to um, add some stipple and blood to the outside you don't want to just paint fake blood on the outside because that wouldn't be the effect you'd have the blame will be the, 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 the blood will be splattered over your head don't overdo the blood on the outside either because otherwise it just won't look realistic now I feel pretty happy with that so there's your bring have fun creating your own and be sure to leave a like and a comment and go check me out with Rachel on Facebook and Instagram. Thank you for watching.